With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, a parallel plate capacitor has area A separated by distance D. Between them, it is filled with a dielectric which has dielectric constant thus, where Y is the vertical distance measured from the base of the plate. The total capacitance of the system is best given by. So, if I go at a height of Y and take a small element of width dy, wait, then you can see all the small elements are connected in parallel. And we know that in parallel connection, we write down the C equivalent is equal to C1 plus C2 plus C3. Here I will write this. Since the uh, they are, there are infinite number of capacitors which are connected in parallel. So if you see uh, this uh, DC, DC, the uh, this uh, capacitance of this small element, right? I will write it will be equals to if you calculate the area right you can see here the length of this small part is y so we can write down this area it will be this uh, width time of the length length will be a by l so it will be a by l into dy you can see this length is l and area the total area is given so total area by length will be equal to the width and width into this uh, small thickness will be the area right we got the area separation between them is this right and uh, the dielectric constant at this position will be this so we can write down the dc now so i will write the dc the capacitance of the small element it will be equal to k so, K is this at this instant, DA, epsilon naught by separation between the plate, right? Now, you can put the value of DA in this expression and uh, integrate it. So, if I put the value of DA, it will be A by L into DY. So, you can take all the constant outside that are K naught, D, A by L. All of these are constant. Epsilon naught is also constant. And uh, in, in integration, you only have to write this. Dy. Right? From, it will be 0 to L. That will be the C equivalent. So, if you see the options are these. So, you can integrate it to get the correct option. So, if you integrate this. So, as I told you, the all of these are constant A epsilon naught uh, by D into L, right? And if you integrate it, you will write uh, it is Y plus alpha Y square by 2, 0 to L, right? So, at 0, it will be 0, right? So, just put the value of L. Since at 0, it is equals to this L. So, I will write K naught epsilon naught dl it is l plus alpha l square by 2 take l common and you will reach to your answer and it will be epsilon naught a by dl will get cancelled out alpha l by 2 and this is the answer of this question now you can check d is the correct one thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.